So my apartment decorating process has been coming along quite nicely, but the bathroom has been a, another story. I honestly have been low-key hating my bathroom decor this entire time, and it's time to do something about it because it's giving me anxiety and I can't bear it any longer. And hate is probably too strong of a word when it comes to my current bathroom styling. It honestly isn't that bad. I, it, it's just uninspired. I can do better. So in this video, I am sharing with you my bathroom decor glow up, or at least what I hope will be a glow up. I haven't made the changes yet, so I guess we'll see. It's really just a bit unpredictable because the bathroom itself, just how it exists in the world aesthetically, is not the cutest thing. I'm working with kind of a lame builder grade style bathroom to begin with, so I'll, I'll give my styling abilities a little bit of credit. It's an innately uninspiring bathroom, so creating an overall inspiring picture in it is understandably a challenge. So I got a new shower curtain and some new pretty little things, and we'll see if this is enough to take my bathroom from blah to beautiful. I hope this works out well. I really need my bathroom to be prettier for me. So here is what I'm working with. This is the bathroom in its current state before I give it its little glow up. As you can see, it's it's not horrible. There's <laughs> there's really nothing horrible about this bathroom. It's just not making the impact that I want to make. It's just a little blah, you know? <laughs> Overall, it just needs to feel more cohesive and intentional. It's feeling pretty disjointed right now. For one thing, this wall art just isn't working. The the flowers here, I they're pretty. Um, I tried something. I was going for kind of a more minimalist look, and in the context of the rest of the bathroom, it's just it's just not having the effect that I wanted it to. And yeah, that can pretty much just be said for <laughs> the bathroom as a whole. It's just not doing what I want it to do. So I think overall, when it comes to this particular bathroom, it's a matter of leaning into the brownness. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm not gonna fight the brown anymore, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna be a, a brown positive girl. Sometimes you just have to listen to the existing space and just do what it wants, which in this case, I think is gonna translate to going for like, an earthy, warm, sort of terracotta vibe. I also want there to be some contrast so that the bathroom doesn't end up feeling like a big brown blob. And I, being the moody child of darkness that I am, of course want that contrast to come in black. So the color palette I'm going for is brown, terracotta, and black. So when it comes to the new decor that I've gotten for the bathroom, the first thing I got was a new shower curtain. I found a shower curtain that incorporates both brown and black. I think what might be missing with my current shower curtain is the brown element, which makes it feel disjointed from the rest of the bathroom. So by getting this Society6 shower curtain, I'll be incorporating the brown that exists in the bathroom already, while also incorporating some black for contrast. 
So once I found the shower curtain, it was time to just find some pretty little things for the counter. There's not much I can do in this bathroom. There isn't uh, a lot of counter space and it there just isn't a lot of stuff that can be added. So really it just comes down to shower curtain and then a little bit of styling on the counter and then wall art. So I went to World Market and got some pretty faux florals and a new vase that incorporates the, the terracotta that I'm going for. And then a couple other pretty little things. And then the final ingredient to this bathroom styling recipe was some wall art. Like I said, I really don't click with the wall art that I have in there right now. It just looks a little half-assed and just not right for the space. Like it feels like a, a very feeble attempt at making that wall look pretty. So after scouring the internet, I found this piece on Etsy. It's very simple, black and white floral design. And I think it might be perfect for this particular bathroom. I also made a mood board incorporating this piece of wall art with the stuff I've already bought just to get a rough idea and see if it would likely harmonize with the rest of the stuff. I also included like a few words that encapsulate what I'm going for in the bathroom. That can be helpful to keep your mind like on track for what you actually want to get out of the space. And after I made this mood board, I decided that I love the vibe and I went ahead and ordered the, the black floral Etsy piece. Okay, that's my thought process for styling this bathroom. Now, I'm just gonna do it. So here it is, my earthy boho bathroom glow up. I definitely think this is an improvement uh, from the last styling attempt. There's more contrast because of the black of the wall art. And this just makes a stronger statement than the other three smaller pieces did. And it's just simply more eye catching, like your eye goes there. It's more interesting to look at in relation to the rest of the things. And then there's my new counter styling situation, which definitely plays into the terracotta earthy look that I was going for. I, I understand it's a little maybe 
bordering on too crowded, but I can always edit later. For now, I'm, I'm digging this. And you know I love me some color coordination, so I love that the sort of brownish, earthy terracotta color palette is definitely fully happening here. And there's just something about this pretty little dish that I just love. It's definitely not serving any functional purpose, but I just think it's really pretty. Uh, this is from World Market. This soap dispenser is from World Market. This reed diffuser is something that my mom got me for Christmas. Highly recommend it, by the way. Um, it smells so good. It actually smells a lot like Diptyque's Bay scent, which I'm a huge fan of. So this is by Rosie Rings, and the scent is Black Current and Bay. It's a lovely, lovely scent. And then this vase is from World Market and the florals are as well. And then this is just a little thing that I got at Target. Very simple. The one thing that's kind of bothering me is I don't like straight lines. So I, I don't like that. I mean, that's this being here kind of adds some dimension, but I'm going to keep trying to finesse this so it doesn't feel like a straight line of things. But, you know, with a small counter space like this, there's really only so much you can do. So this is this is good for me for now. Also, what do we think of the, the new bath mats that I got? These are from World Market. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, that's sort of the, the terracotta look that I'm going for. Um, and I really like them, but I'm not totally sure. What do you think? Which, which rugs do you like better? These ones or the, the patterned ones that were there before? Let me know in the comments. So quick update, I am literally editing this video right now as we speak on Sunday morning when the video is supposed to be up, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm in full-blown editing goblin mode right now, trying to get this thing up, but I wanted to add in, my mom just texted me this rug from West Elm, and I think it might be perfect. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm in a very frenzied state right now, but I thought I would uh, include this because it's so cute and I'm still editing, so why not? So let me know which of the three rugs you like the best. And the shower curtain is definitely a refreshing change from the last one. It's definitely earthy boho. And overall, the shower curtain just kind of gives this peaceful zen feeling you know it's not my typical style but like i said earlier sometimes you just have to listen to the space and just do what it is asking you to do aesthetically and i feel like the moment i stopped resisting the utter brownness of this bathroom is when i unlocked the potential of the space So that was my bathroom styling. Now I want to just do like a walkthrough of my apartment and show you what needs to happen next for it to come together even more. For example, as you might have noticed, my wall no longer has the three black and white floral pieces up. I will explain that in a little bit, <laughs> but clearly, I am in the process of things. So I wanna bring you along for all the different steps of decorating my apartment, and maybe it'll give you some inspiration about your own apartment and maybe what you can do next and just kind of what goes into making an apartment into a home. Just because you rent your space doesn't mean you can't own your style, as I always say. Okay, now let's walk through the apartment and I'll show you my ideas and the little changes I've made since the last time I've walked you through.
So this is what the living room is looking like. Obviously this wall is a little sad looking now because I took down uh, the, the floral pieces to put up the wallpaper, which again, I will explain in a, in a moment what happened there. But aside from this wall, I would say things are coming together quite nicely. Now, one thing I do want to change is I would like to find something else for this piece of wall. I'm kind of envisioning something else, like maybe even a little bit of color. This is a lot of black and white. Now, I never thought I would ever say that there is such thing as too much black and white, but here I am. I don't know, I just feel like some some little pop of color should happen there. Maybe it's a different piece of wall art, maybe it's some shelves with a few decorative pieces, not sure yet, but that is definitely something I want to tackle soon. And then another thing I would really like to figure out is this wall and this wall. By the way, this pompous grass actually goes over there by the chair. I just put it here sometimes when I am filming right there just to have some visual interest behind me instead of just like a sad blank wall. So I will be moving that back over there because it it kind of anchors the chair so it's, the chair isn't just floating. But yeah, I really want to figure out these walls. Maybe a little console table goes here and then some wall art and some decorative things there. And then this wall, I could do something similar to that but something I'm considering is when I do have the wallpaper up on this wall, maybe, maybe I also continue the wallpaper here. So, okay, let me, let me explain. <laughs> so the black and white floral wallpaper is gonna go up here and then maybe it actually also goes here to make it a little bit more three-dimensional because, spoiler alert, I'm going to have a lot of extra. <laughs> so since I'm gonna have a lot of extra wallpaper, which I will explain, maybe I put some there in addition to this wall. Not sure. I mean, it would be nice, like when I'm filming, it would be cool to have the wallpaper behind me on that wall, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's funny, when I'm decorating, I'm not just thinking about the apartment, I'm also thinking about my videos, which is an interesting little added challenge to the styling process. <laughs> So anyway, that's pretty much the state of the living room and what I want to do next. The kitchen is looking pretty much the same as it was in my kitchen styling video. Just a little bit has changed. I have these cute little dried florals here, which my mom got me for Christmas. My mom got me some really cute, pretty little things for Christmas. So this is one of those. And other than that, there's really nothing new here. Now on to the bedroom, which I'm really excited to show you because I have a couple of brand new things in the form of mirrors. If you watched one of my recent videos about planning the styling of this bedroom, you know that I was talking about getting a big floor length mirror here and then a, a vanity mirror for my desk and here it is. Now I'm not gonna talk too in depth on these because I wanna do a, a video dedicated to the, the continuation of my bedroom styling, but I'll just say I am absolutely in love. This mirror opens up the room in such a big way and it reflects the prettiness of the bed. So you get kind of this double image of something pretty. And then my desk is looking very, very pretty right now. This mirror is from World Market, like so many of my things are. And the arch mirror is from Wayfair. And I'm just really loving the, the green motif that is going on here. I definitely want to continue the, the green vibes over here with my console table styling. I still really am not quite sure what I'm gonna do here, but it will probably involve pops of green and then perhaps some wall art, which I just haven't figured out what to do with 
these pieces, which I love so much. I almost like put a lot of pressure on myself to put them in the perfect spots because I just have so much reverence for for these musicians. So they've just been kind of sitting here collecting dust, as you can see. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. And just not getting the respect they deserve. So I swear I will be putting these up at some point. And I'm pretty sure one or more of them will be incorporated here in this spot. So we shall see. What do you think, Hilo? She can barely contain her excitement. And yeah, my bedroom is starting to come together. So stay tuned to see how it progresses. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is once I have the wallpaper up in the living room, I am going to try these pieces um, above the bed. I'm waiting for the wallpaper to be up because I don't know, I just have this as kind of a a stand-in for now. Um, so once the wallpaper is up, then I am going to try those above the bed. We'll see if that works out. And that is pretty much it. This is the wallpaper. And actually I will now explain what happened there. Basically, I, I got the, the floral wallpaper, the dark floral wallpaper from Etsy that I had in my last apartment in the bedroom. I love that wallpaper so much. I, I just I wanted to use it again, this time in the living room. And after doing some measuring, discovered that it's about five inches short in the width. So that pretty much stopped me in my tracks. I, I had already taken down these pieces. I was ready to go and it just, it couldn't happen. It's too short. They got the measurements wrong. I uh, sent a message to the Etsy shop and I was a fan of, of them before just because I love this product. I love it enough to use it a second time in a second department. But now I love them even more because their response to my message was lovely. They were apologetic. They explained that it was, you know, the height of Christmas and New Year's and so they were really busy. It's it's very understandable that mistakes will happen and they're going to send me another wallpaper panel set in the right measurements. So if you're looking for wallpaper, I really can't recommend Tap It Show enough. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing their name right, but I have to say they're lovely every step of the process and I just, I think they're awesome. So definitely check them out if you're in the market for wallpaper. Now my next topic is a little cozy recommendation I have for you. I'm gonna try to put in a cozy recommendation or just like, just something I'm, I'm loving at the moment in every one of my videos going forward, just as like a recurring segment. So definitely stay tuned if you want just regular little doses of cozy, lovely little things. And today's cozy recommendation is actually a very cozy Switch game. Now I understand that a lot of you might not be gamers, but first of all, I recommend that you maybe consider becoming a gamer or at least a cozy gamer. I just am such a, a Nintendo girl. Like they just, some of my happiest cozy memories are playing the various consoles of Nintendo, starting from the Super Nintendo, then N64, then the GameCube, then the Wii, and now the Switch. I've, it's, it's been a part of my life since childhood. But if you're not the same way, I, I really do still recommend you look into it because if you're a lover of, of all things cozy, like I am, Nintendo has a lot of really great cozy games. And they're great for someone who doesn't really consider themselves like a, a hardcore gamer, you know? So anyway, 
The game that I recommend is called Another Code. It just came out, I think in January, and I just beat it a couple days ago and I already miss it. This game is so lovely. It's the perfect cozy game in my opinion. Say hello to Hilo, by the way. Hilo loves cozy gaming too. She always sits on my lap and well, sleeps through it, but she loves it nonetheless. <laughs> so in the game, you're playing as a girl named Ashley who just found out that the father that she thought died is actually alive. And now she's going to this island where there's this like cool mansion. And basically you're, you're solving the mysteries around your dad and around the history of this place. And funnily enough, this game actually kind of ties into interiors because the mansion that you spend the majority of the game in, solving puzzles and learning the lore of the family that used to live there, this mansion is stunning. And it's just like a really beautiful house that you, you get to explore. So I recommend it just for that. But the gameplay, aside from the aesthetics, is, is so much fun. If you love a good puzzle and you love a good story-based game, Another Code is, it's perfect. I feel like this is the ex exact type of game that I like to play. And it has been pretty much ruling my life for the last couple weeks. I've been pretty obsessed with it, logging in hours and hours of time, solving puzzles and solving mysteries. I mean, it's a, it's a hot time. <laughs> So definitely check it out if you are a Nintendo Switch player like I am. If you are definitely not into gaming, totally get it. This, this week's cozy recommendation might not be for you, but definitely stay tuned for future videos because I'd say for the most part, my cozy recommendations will often be lifestyle home related. Maybe the occasional like, TV show recommendation or band. I don't know. It's going to be a variety, um, but all of these recommendations that I'm going to give are in the spirit of just making your life more cozy. Now I'm going to share with you this week's inspiring Instagram of the week. <laughs> And this week's account is one of my personal favorites. I sort of recently discovered her and every time she comes up on my feed, my breath is taken away. <laughs> and that account is Decor by Donna. If you are a lover of moody, dark decor, maximalism, then Decor by Donna is the ideal Instagram account for you. Her, her home is like my ideal situation. She has the dark walls, the cool artwork, the sort of eclectic vibes. Like it's, it's constantly leaving you guessing, you know? I love decor that has little surprises that you discover here and there over time little conversation pieces that make you wonder what the story is behind them. That is what Decor by Donna has done in her space. It's very interesting and very visually stimulating. And what can I say? I'm a lover of a good velvet sectional. Hers is green, mine is gold. I mean, yeah, she's everything I want to be. I would also say that her account is basically a lesson in layering. Like she layers pieces so beautifully, decorative pillows, pieces of art with decorative objects. Like there are layers going on here. So definitely check out Decor by Donna's Instagram account. I will link to it in the description, of course. She will definitely make your feed infinitely more beautiful <laughs> like she has with mine. So that was my 
very first multi-segment, multi-topic video on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I like I said in last week's video, I would really like for my channel to feel like a mini video magazine, you know, where there are multiple articles, multiple topics, you know. <laughs> And definitely let me know in the comments if you have any topics you would like me to talk about, anything in the world of apartment styling, cozy living, just lifestyle stuff in general. Any suggestions, always feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you were super inspired by Decor by Donna's Instagram account and you want to start adopting that sort of dark, decor maximalism in your space, I definitely recommend you watch this video next. It dives into the, the whimsy goth decor vibe, which I would say clicks very well with decor by Donna style as well as mine. So definitely check out this video next if you want to get some tips for that vibe.